So this is Baruch here, and this is the 15th year of Purim. Last year I was reminding everybody, we have to realize that Homan was looking at this time too. We're in his time sequence, or he sees the Duamita of Zeranta, and he sees it's his time to gather power to himself. Now at the end of the, at the end of this year yesterday, uh, I saw this this concept, and I was, really wasn't sure exactly what it was, so I made myself a drawing, and please excuse the poorness of my artistic abilities. If we say this tube right here was the Yisod of Abba, uh, we call it the Ataras Yisod of Abba. It's Abba's Malchus. And if we say that it, it came down from up above, let's say from up here, and it went right through the opening of the Yisod of Ima, it is now revealed. Now, what we understand about what is, this is a rule absolutely every place. That if, is a, if this in the Yisod of Abba contains within it Das, that's always the rule. The Yisod is in the middle line and it carries the Das, which is the progenitor of everything that takes place in the body, and everything that place takes place normally in Ziran. But now we're talking about the Nukva, or we're talking about something else. And he said this idea, which I had to really think about, because there's so much subtlety. He said this Yisod of Abba has within it Das inside of it, because that's always what it is. I'm not sure what is, this is the Das that is coming from Abba. All Das contains within it five chasadim, which are used for building up the parts of the, parts of the male side, and five gevuros, which eventually will be used for building up the parts of on the female side. So he had made this statement. He said, there's a kasha on our idea. The kasha is that from Abba contains all three lines. He has chokhmah, bina, and das lines. But the kasha was, but wait a minute, this is the middle line. The middle line only contains dots. So I didn't get an answer. I didn't see the answer there. We might see a little bit later. So I made up my own answer. My own answer is, is that he wants to say that inside of das is an aspect of chesed, which is related to Chachma. And then the acts of Gavura, which is related to Bina. So those two are also coming down. So not only are you having the middle line of the Yisod, which is the Malkus of Abba, but inside of that is the das. So let's see how this works out as we read on. So here we are on page Lamed Hay. This is the 15th shear, I think. So he sold Lama Nikros Balash and Yagaris. Why is the Megillah? And we just said the idea of the Megillah is actually telling you that as you are reading the Megillah, you are bringing out the Yisod of Abba with all of these three columns within it and shining like crazy. So he said, "Vezehu inyan hiyos a megillah nikras igaris." So why should it be called an igaris? The nikras safer, but it's also called a safer. So we had these words. What are we going to do with them? So he says, "V'yesh lo dinim." It has within it dinim, katara shabachsab, just like the Torah, the written Torah. Ki safer a Torah who you sow the abba hanikra tara shabachsab. Now just. Just give me a second here, try to understand this, because I need help. He says that save the Sefer Torah, take a Sefer Torah, who Yisod the Abba represents the Yisod the Abba. Why? Because it has so much within it. You open it up and it's Megala, it's Megala all of these letters, all these sounds, all these words. Hanikra Torah Shebech which is also called the Torah Shebech The Yisod of Abba is his Malchus. Malchus is the concept of, I don't know, there, uh, Abba is called the Torah Shabbat Shabbat, Surah's Sefer, and he says it's in the form of a Sefer, which is the letter Vav. A long Vav, Vav Aruach, uh, Arucha, Vaha Megillah Hi Ha'arach Ha'yotzim Echot. So we say, what is the Megillah? It's this revealed light of the, of the Malchus of Abba, the Yisod Kenizkar, into the Yisod, as he said. Vagam ki arucho betzuras kubetzuras vav. It's also long, like the form of a vav. Betzuras megillah arucha, and it's like the a very long megillah. 
And he says, the Rav writes that if you understood this, good for you. So let's see what he said. Let's look at where the Matuk Medivash starts. It starts on, excuse me, the Tiv. It starts over here. We're just going to read the Tiv and we'll try to put, put it together. And he said, the Lefi is so zeh should be your Ravzal. Now there's a secret here that the Rav is telling us. And the secret is that Megilo Hu Inyan Giloi Haris Mordechai. Now, I had said previously, where's Esther in all this? But apparently, the big idea up to this point is to understand that the main power that's happening in Purim is coming by Mordechai. We'll see if we can find Esther later. The Giloi Haris Mordechai, Shuhu Ataris Yisod the Abba, which is the Malchus of Abba, known as the Ataris Yisod. And so the Rav right now is explaining many different things. Because we find when we're looking at the, the, at the rules of reading the Megillah, so what, what the Megillah is, is the revealed light of the Yisod of Abba. So it has some kind of comparison to the Torah. Why? Because now he's telling me something I didn't know. The Torah, the written Torah, is like the Yisod of Abba. As it's written in all the words of this Igeris, and since it's analogized to the Torah, so therefore we call it an Igeris. The Nikmagam Sefer, but it's also called the Sefer, Kamosha Kosa, the Nikhta, the Sefer, that's written in the Sefer. So we understand that these are words that are applied to the Torah. The Kamosha Be'arna Chazal, like the rabbis have explained, they explain it to the Gemara. Ba'am Rebbe Chalbo, Rebbe Abu Chalbo says like this, Am Rav Chama Bar Guria, Am Rav. Megillah Nikras Sefer, the Megillah is called by the name Sefer, the Nikras Egeris, called by that name too. Nikras Sefer, Haino Shadina Kasefer Torah, that it has a din like a Sefer Torah. Shehim Tifra Bechuti Pishtan Besula, that if, as is put together, that the threads of flax that hold it together break or tear, so then it becomes possible. But Nikras Egeris, and it's also, that's the reason why it's called a Sefer, a Sefer, because it has that rule in common with the Sefer Torah. And the other one, Egeris, She'enach Bemorah Kasefer Torah. With the word Egeris, does it really teach us anything about the Sefer Torah? She'im hitil ba shlosha chutim chuti gidim kashera. Because if you you place within it three threads of sinew, it's still kosher. V'chedek b'dini sefer Torah noagim gamba begila v'ayin shefa v'chadi he says something over here in the shefa we're going to have to look at that v'atam hu kanal but the reason is like this v'shum shohu ha'aras ha'taras yisod the Abba so once we're talking about the fact is is that this is the shining of this malchus of Abba v'chain doim echabe begila the sefer Torah b'tzurah so so that we see that the sefer Torah is similar to the begila in all of its forms. Because the, the Sefer Torah is long, right? It's long like the letter Vav. Is to tell you, since we said that the Sefer Torah is analogized to the Yisod, the Ataras of Yisod, the extension of the Yisod of Abba, which is a long line like a Vav. And that's what it is. So therefore its form is long. The Nikras Megillah, it's called the uh, Megillah. Hashem Gilu Izeh Atara Luchutz, because we say it's Megillah is lush and revealed. Because of the Atara Luchutz. The Messiah Marabs, and he says like that, Shedai Baha Aros Elo El Amas Gilim, Shiyub Yavino Baatman Kal Apratam, it's Luyba Inyan, so that if you really have an understanding, you can get into this a lot more deeply.